Monster Jam by Activision. You know, a lot of great games have come out these past few months. I mean, you got Comatose Boy gets played by an old man. Deranged Farmer that insists he's your father tries to kill you. Mmm, and my personal favorite, four guys in a car, save the world, and a wedding happens at some point while you eat food and play pinball. That was the best. Oh, and you get to ride giant chickens. <laughs> But we're not here to review good games, oh no. Here we're going to focus on games from the past that are probably better left forgotten. Stop! Take your hand off the mouse. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh great, another angry game reviewer. How original. Yes, it has been known to many a YouTube gamer that in the sacred year of 2006 AD, the angry video game nerd had risen and was worshipped by many. Many had come to adore him in his foul mouth, but eventually a bunch of other fine gentlemen got together and were like, Hey! Us too! And thus they went on to live lives of great success. Well, most of them anyway. So why not me, huh? I'm young. I'm only 27. I'm healthy. I mean, my heart only stops a few times a day. Oh god. See, while it may be apparent to us what a good game is, and a bad game is, for others, it's not so black and white. When the Nintendo Wii first launched, most hardcore gamers were excited to sink their teeth into the new Zelda. However, most soccer moms and grandmas were busy filling their shopping carts with this mass-produced garbage. And Mr. Solus Corporation has known that for years, haven't you? You're a real piece of shit. Some of which are so cheaply produced that they forgot to pay their Photoshop guy to edit out the badly cropped pixels in the goddamn title screen! But you know what this really reminds me of is a time where my grandma legitimately asked me what the difference between the kind of games I play and the horrible, unspeakable, ungodly abominations of software that my little cousins just happened to be playing at the time. You know what I'm talking about. Some of the worst sad excuses for games ever burned onto a disc and pushed out faster than Call of Battlefield Futuristic Wartime and the Ronnie Reagan War on Drugs DLC. So this is for you, Grandma. We're gonna set the record straight once and for all. It's time to close our flip phones and log out of Facebook. It's time to play some more. We would like to play. Alright, so the first game we're gonna play is Monster Jam Path of Destruction. Oh yeah, I remember this. Attention Monster Taco fans! Get ready for a night of Monster Taco Madness! With two new Monster Taco flavors from Jack in the Box, face off! This is gonna hurt, isn't it? Just gotta find some sad, pathetic individual to play this with me. Oh, there we go! Wait. Why did I hurt this somewhere before? Why? 
Well, let's just play. Oh. First, we have to be reminded of using our special safety strap. No, I'm good. Okay, gotta hold it sideways. You can keep that plastic wheel, though. I'd rather save my $20, thank you. Whoa. Uh... No thanks. I've seen enough weird Japanese shit to see where this is going. <laughs> Alright, what is going on here? You know, I don't remember there being first grade Crayola special effects all over the arena and coming out of the monster cars at Monster Jam. I didn't even play the game yet. <laughs> and it's already starting! So when you start the game, you get two options. Given this is a racing game, I like to think they get their replay ability from racing your friends, so I'm gonna start with multiplayer. Well, when you start out, you get two locations to choose from. And being that this is Monster Jam, let's start in the good old South in Houston, Texas. Scott Douglas here, welcoming you to Reliant Stadium in Houston, Texas. A true multi-purpose arena, Reliant Stadium has everything from locker rooms for sports teams to holding pens for rodeo livestock. Let's see if this stadium is strong enough to contain the wild beasts of Monster Jam. Okay. Okay, dude, let me tell you about circuit racing. All monster okay. trucks start at the same time okay. and have to race through insane track elevations and mind-numbing jumps. Complete Shut up! all your laps, cross the finish line first, and get the win. So first you get to pick your monster truck. And unfortunately your choices are really limited at the start. I went with the US Air Force because this is America! My friend on the other hand went with... What the fuck is that? A Dalmatian? Monster truck? A Dalmatian? Monster truck? What genius thought it was such a stellar idea to combine a giant oversized death machine and a fucking white dog with spots? I mean, it's not even just a monster truck painted to look like the fur coat of a Dalmatian. It has a tongue, ears, a tail, what sick bastard thinks of this? Oh yeah, when I have lots of money, the first thing I'm gonna do is buy a Dalmatian-themed monster truck. That's my dream car. And they're off. Dude, you gotta catch up. So right off the bat, you might notice something if you pay really close attention. I have no idea how to control this thing! I mean, okay, going in, I expected bad controls. I mean, this is the Wii we are talking about. Developers had no idea what they were doing. It was some new space-age technology that baffled even the greatest of minds. This is just plain stupid. Just eating up the... Now's the time to make a move. Season After fumbling around with the controls, I was finally able to figure it out. Sort of. Now's the time to make a move. Here's what you have to do. You hold the Wiimote like you would when playing Mario Kart. Turn it side to side to control the front wheels. You, you following me so far? Really jockeying for the lead out there. You use the control pad to turn the back wheels. What kind of fucking logic is that? I mean, imagine trying to steer a real truck this way. 
Sorry. Fuck. Shit. I'm sorry, officer. I didn't mean to. I want to go home. So this is the gameplay. You're just driving around in monster trucks. Very often, you somehow pull off random tricks like donuts, wheelies, cyclones, and barrel rolls. Do a barrel roll! Is it because it's a Nintendo game? Occasionally, you'll run over cars and sparklers in the ground for some reason. The announcer also keeps saying the same few lines, like... There's a tough collision. Just manages to stay shiny side up. Just eating up the crush cars. What crush cars? This game has no destructible objects or environments. Right. All I can really interact they with are these boxes, cylinders, and the wheels I keep losing. There's a tough collision. Make a move. Yeah. That's a thing that happens a lot, actually. Your wheels just randomly shake and fall off without really even doing much to warrant it. Literally, it is impossible to play this game for more than five minutes and not lose a wheel. Was this really what Monster Jam is like? No. No, it's not. Honestly, I'm so frustrated trying to drive this thing that I'm starting to go mentally numb. I'm more interested in what sponsors are on the wall. Let's see, you got Advance Auto Parts, U.S. Air Force, and K- Connects? Well, yeah, I guess that makes perfect There's sense. I mean, considering they must have built the front axle the trucks out of Connects because I keep losing my Breaking fucking wheels! I guess what's really sad is Monster Jam couldn't afford Lego. Too pricey for him. Who parked that bus there? Oh, and for a game with all those rocking oh, tunes in the opening, not a lot of jamming is going on. It's the music. And talk about the music. There is no fucking music. Let's just quit this and try the single player. Hopefully that's a little more interesting. At least it should have more substance than bare bones multiplayer. Hey y'all, I'm Dennis Anderson, four-time Monster Jam World Champ and driver of Legendary Gravedigger. I just got back from a date with my first cousin. I'm here to tell you all about the big metal tiny dick machines. God bless America. Go Broncos. Well, at least now I finally get to control the amazing Grave Digger that they've been raving so much about. We get it. Uh huh. Hold on, buddy, Ro. We gotta go through the controls first. Oh. Now I get to see the controls. Didn't help much! Also, I pressed B, and I was not able to go in reverse. All I could do was press the minus button to get teleported back like nothing ever happened. I wish I could do that with this game. So yeah, it's just as bad as the single player, except now you have a time limit. There's no explanation, but I guess you're supposed to perform tricks using the ramp somehow, but I can't even steer, so good luck with that! It's not any better though. The controls are still terrible, and neither myself nor my friend are able to do anything. I'm stuck on the ground, on the side, I can't move, I can't 
can't do anything. All I can do is rotate my tires like some sort of interpretive dance. Oh, and this happens. The wheel gets stuck in the ground. Magical. Man, just listen to that roaring crowd. That still unmoving copy and paste crowd. Definitely the end of the road for those cars. Only Activision. Every monster truck you the place you can go to work on your manly death machine is called Digger's Dungeon. I don't think that sounds the way you think it does, Monster Jam. This game is just a joke. I know it's for kids, but I mean, there can't be any self-respecting adults out there buying this expecting it to be good. Oh. Oh. Well, there you have it. Monster Jam is a monster fail. It's a classic example of a developer trying to make a quick buck off the ignorant and the naive and not caring at all for its target audience. <sighs> but you know, it didn't have to be that way. Let's be serious for a moment. Apart from its silly concept to many, when I look at these people, I see enjoyment for what they are doing. I see them celebrating their passion for their hobby. And for some of them, their livelihood. This is the exact opposite of how this game was made. All joking aside, a game like this should have been easy to get right. While the spirit of Monster Jam may be there in its presentation, that same devotion is completely absent when it comes to the core gameplay. They clearly didn't try to come up with an acceptable control scheme. Many of the assets are just copied and pasted without much thought put into them. The crushable objects are animated by three frames, and nothing more with no particle effects or any signs of detail, convincing me that it's actually real. As an aspiring game developer, it's important to not only look at good games for inspiration, but also maybe even more importantly the bad ones as well. Experiencing both the pinnacle of gaming and its low-end bottom can truly help shape the idea of what you want your game to be, and what you don't want it to turn into. With that being said, if you're a fan of Monster Jam, then by all means, keep enjoying yourself and keep having fun. However, I cannot recommend this game to children or to adults. I advise you to stay away from it. If you see it, stomp it into the ground. Now, I think it's fitting that we give this game a funeral worthy of the Monster Jam name. And there it goes, 100 hours of my life gone with the sands of time. Hey guys, Rez here, thank you so much for watching this video. This is hopefully just the start of a brand new series, and I promise they won't all just be bad Nintendo Wii games. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and if you want, you can follow me on social media by clicking on the links below. I've got lots of other content planned, including more bad game reviews, discussions, card games, live streams, and I might even teach you some game programming, who knows? So stay tuned, and I'll see you next time.